So today we are going to cut hair. What are you guys doing? We're doing school. I'm teaching her about the Mayflower and the pilgrims. And I made a little Mayflower. And I had a little boring party in, what's that other class did I just go to? Was it English? That wasn't boring. It was kind of. Do you know why the pilgrims went to America? No. They wanted to be free. Do you know why we have Thanksgiving? Why? It's the main thing about Thanksgiving is being thankful for what you're thankful for. And, and for what pilgrims. you have. And the pilgrims and the Native Americans, that's, those are the people who made Thanksgiving. That's all for social studies, because we're going to be doing that. I want to go to dentist. This is what she has been telling me this morning. What do you want to do at the dentist? Cut my hair. She wants to get her hair cut at the dentist. That's your hair, you need a haircut. Mm -hmm. You've never had a haircut. This girl has never had a haircut and her hair is getting really scraggly. So I think we are going to cut it, but I don't think we're gonna take her to the dentist. No, I want to go. go to the dentist. You want to go to the dentist? Mm -hmm. Janae, dentists take care of your teeth. Oh. Oh, can you show us your teeth? Yep, dentists take care of your teeth. I got two. You got two of them? Whoa, check it out. Uh, turtle. Wolf. Bird. Bunny. Goose. And turkey. 21 seconds. You teaching her how to read those words? Yep, before this, the only ones that she could read well were cat and ant. For math, I'm gonna kinda do the same thing, but with addition. How's your book going, Elise? Good, I'm almost done, because look how much I have left. Well, we're having a really low-key morning around here. I think we're all still in our pajamas, which feels really nice. The house is a wreck, because we're moving in just a couple days, and I have no motivation to clean it up, but I can't pack a bunch of it, because we're still using it, and I don't want to organize it, because there's no point, because we're moving. Proof that our house is completely deteriorating. <laughs> So we're in kind of moving prep mode. We're also in Thanksgiving prep mode and there was something else I was gonna tell you guys. What was it? Oh, Jeremy and I have been trying to eat really low sugar, trying to eat healthy just because it's what makes our bodies feel good. And last night we went on a date night. We totally splurged and we went out for donuts and milkshakes afterwards. This morning, my tummy and my body do not feel good. So this is your public service announcement. Eating better feels better. And this is also my reminder to myself because the holidays are upon us and I'm gonna wanna eat all the good stuff, but the good stuff doesn't always make my body feel good. And so it's a, it's a balance. I'm going to eat the good stuff, but maybe not all of it. Oh, we have a doggie. What would you like for breakfast? That sounds like waffles to me. Do you want a waffle? Okay, waffles it is. Seriously, you guys, the mess in my house is everywhere. So are the children, which I love that part. Wow. Do not feel bad about whatever the state of your home is. We all are in that spot sometimes. So, today we are going to cut hair. All of our hair has like so many ends that just, I just feel like it needs a little trim. So Jeremy's been doing super exciting stuff all morning, and by that I mean not exciting stuff at all. Um, the process of getting water and power and internet hooked up to our new place is just a little more complicated here in Puerto Rico, mostly because we're not familiar with it and it's different than what we're used to, but looking like we might not have power and water this first weekend in our new house. So Jeremy's doing everything he can. He's on all the phones. He's gonna be driving in and going to places because we really want water and power. Internet, if we have to live without it, it's not ideal, but water and power, I am very, very attached to. All right, well this isn't the place. I gotta go somewhere else. So I had to find someone who spoke English, which I went through about 10 people, and then they were able to help me find the place, but there wasn't just like an address. They asked me to look up the Wendy's that's in Levytown, and that it's by there. So that's where I'm heading 
now. I'm in line. There's a lot of people in line. Okay, so I'm number 421. It's at 410. That's not too bad. Okay, this is totally warming my heart. Isaac and Caleb are both being Laura's teachers today, and they are coming up with the coolest educational activities. They're making it interactive and creative and fun, and I'm just so proud of them. What's the answer of the last problem we did? 13? 30? No. Remember the last answer? No. Four. 30. Four. Four. Yeah. Well, it took an hour of waiting, and then I was able to get in, and we have electricity now for our new place. Jeremy just called, and we have power. I am so excited. That is a big deal. It is so much easier to move into a house with electricity. Okay, water's the next goal. I just finished this book out of my mind. Um, I really liked it. It's about somebody who's like a genius, but they can't walk or talk, so they have to like figure it out. I really like it. Very inspiring. It reminds me of Wonder. So if you liked Wonder, this is a good one. Nice. As a parent, I totally recommend it. I'm always looking for books that build empathy and just help kids experience emotions and learn more about the world around them and have compassion for others and their perspective on life. And I feel like this book was a really good one for that. Isaac started it the first chapter or two were a little slow and by the end, I could not get him to put the book down. All right, now I'm gonna head over to the water utility to make sure we have water and in getting directions to go there, the lady that was helping me at the desk was so nice, she like drew me this little drawing and once I go down the road and go around, there will be a statue in front of a McDonald's and that's where I turn. And I really like that. I appreciate that she took the time to draw a little map for me because it's might, it might not work for me to find it on my phone. Okay, this is totally random, but I'm just gonna be completely honest. When Jeremy and I went to bed last night, we knew we were gonna be vlogging today and I was like, what in the world are we gonna vlog about? Like, we're not doing anything. Nothing interesting is happening. Like, we don't have anything to share, I guess is kind of how I was feeling. And then this morning, filming has just made me feel all the different feelings. I am so grateful to be filming and capturing these little tiny moments that otherwise legit would be forgotten. Like when we watch our old vlogs, I'm like, oh my goodness, I forgot about that. And now that we've been doing this for long enough, I think it's five years, to have those memories of the normal life. Like you don't forget that you went to Disneyland, but you forget the like cutest little things that your kids say or those little moments and the little struggles. And honestly, it's remembering the little struggles that sometimes helps me the most because I look at it and I'm like, okay, we've been through lots of little struggles. And while they feel huge at the time, like it feels like a pretty big deal that we might not have water or electricity this weekend when we move into our new house. It's not, it's not a huge deal. It'll pass. It's only a few days. No matter what happens, we're going to be fine. And it just kind of gives a good perspective. It helps me recognize the goodness that's in my life and see the beauty around me and recognize that so much of that beauty comes from the little moments and the challenges that feel big in the moment maybe aren't that big after all. So anyway, I'm doing some laundry. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I really sincerely appreciate it. Oh, and in case you noticed, I'm totally a rebel and I do not sort laundry. Don't tell my mom. Sorry guys, I'm totally Miss Chatty Pants this morning. The girls are painting. Wow, Laura, that is amazing. It's a guy that has fire for her hair. It's a guy with fire for hair. That's cool. How about you, Janae? What are you working on? A house, because that, this one's gone. See, all gone. Is it all gone? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So you're painting a house? I'm mixing these ones in purple, and these ones not with purple. Covering it so that I can't see it. Ooh, you painted brown on top of your purple? Mm -hmm. And now we can't see your purple? Mm -hmm. Very clever. Girls, I don't know if you have enough paint brushes. No, three, three, one, two, three, four, five. Isaac's in the background. You're writing a book, aren't you? Yeah. Caleb, I think these plastic cups have been one of your favorite toys your whole life. Yep, if only we had more of them, I could make a mansion. You think you need more than one pack of plastic cups? Well, Christmas is coming. We'll see what happens. Some serious, oh, so close, buddy. You gonna try it again? Mm -hmm. What? He's gotta make the dangerous journey around the cup tower. So careful. I'm 
totally being serious, I think the plastic cups are one of my kids' favorite toys. We use them all the time. All right, so I'm here in the mall. Looks like another waiting system. All right, I started at 8.30 this morning. It's now 2.30, but we are going to have water and electricity at our new place. And now it's time for the main event, the knocking down of the tower. What method will he use? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Janae, what happened to your shirt? What is it? Paint. Paint. Good thing it's washable. This is Elise's super cute watercolor work this morning. I love it. it's like a cartoon. The mom says, I'm so excited for the feast. And the turkey says, I'm not. I like your hair. Do you like it? Your hair is so cute. All I did today was do two buns instead of one. Disclaimer, if you do let your kids play with plastic cups, they will drive you crazy because they will be a mess scattered all around your house all the time. That's just a truth. I have one more stop at the bank, but while I've been waiting a lot today, I finished a book called Essentialism. It's really about learning to put first things first, and at the very end of the book, they gave an example that really hit home. He talked about how a dad had a young daughter pass away, and as he was going through the footage of their home videos, he realized that he was constantly capturing the locations they were at, or the places, and he had very little focus on his actual daughter of the videos. I know for me, I ask myself all the time, am I leaning my ladder against the right wall, that ladder of success, you know, what, did it, what is it that I'm trying to climb or to do? And repeatedly I'm reminded that the most important things I'm doing are in my home, with my kids, with my wife, with our family. It also just made me grateful that with our opportunity on YouTube, we've been capturing all these precious moments of the things that matter most. So it's been a really long time since we've cut the girl's hair. It's getting super long. Look, Laura's comes all the way. Almost her waist is right there. So I'm just wanting to straighten it up. We're still wanting to keep it long, but I think we're gonna give it a nice good trim. I've never pictured myself with my hair this straight. Yes, it is very straight right now. So sometimes we have our kids' hair cut in the salon, sometimes I cut it at home, it just depends on the situation. One thing I've learned at home is to always start longer than I think, because you can always go shorter later. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Is that all the hair you cut? This is all the hair I cut. You have very thin hair, so you don't have very much. I can't believe this is my hair. Feel nice? It was all the way down to my waist, and you cut it that much. It was. I think we cut off a good three, four inches. What do you think, Jeremy? Yeah. I mean, it was at all different lengths, so. Okay, Lisa, you're up next. I apologize to any hairdressers that are watching this because I know this is not technically correct at all. See, Lisa's hair is a lot thicker, and so I'm doing it in layers. Good one. That was a good clean cut. I can feel the scissors touching my shirt. All right, we have one more layer, then you're done. It's looking pretty good though. So cute. It's so short. Oh, so. Janae is napping right now, but when she wakes up, I cannot wait to get her hair cut. It'll be her very first haircut, and it's just been really scraggly, so I just can't wait to straighten it up. My hair looks like the beef jerky kind of stuff. The beef jerky hair. You know the shredded yeah. chicken? It's funny because it's such a subtle haircut for the girls, but they can totally tell the difference, and I love that feeling. A fresh haircut, even when it's a small amount, feels amazing. Laura is helping make Parmesan toast for dinner tonight. She's doing the very important job of sprinkling the Parmesan on. Yeah, not very good at it yet. Yeah, this is one of your first times doing it. It takes practice. <laughs> I think these guys over here still need some. And I think you're doing great. These two? You got it, girl. That's Teeny bit more on this one because the Parmesan's the yummiest part, let's be honest. There you go, that's right. Ta-da. High five. 
So at Costco they have this broccoli cheese soup and then we're adding in a bunch of potatoes to just make it go further and we're doing the bread. I'm excited, this looks really We're also good. doing it because I like potatoes in the soup. Cheesy broccoli, potatoey goodness. One thing we did realize when we were watching our vlogs, they make us hungry. <laughs> we cook a lot on the vlogs. Do you add cheese in this too? Just on the top, like as a garnish yeah. type thing. Oh top my top. goodness. So because this week is Thanksgiving and moving week, I basically decided that I'm not cooking except for Thanksgiving. So that's why we're just making super easy meals and I'm just grateful that easy meals exist in the world. This looks and smells amazing. It's gonna be delicious. Hey, it's not hot. It's not hot? Mm -hmm. Is it just right now? Yeah. All right, take a big bite, let's see. That was a good bite. I can hear that crunchy bread. Well, Janae was a little emotional this evening after her nap, and so we decided not to cut her hair tonight. We'll hopefully do that really soon. Okay, do you want to tell them good night? Good night. Che has out. Can you do it in Spanish? Uh, che has out. Buenas noches. Well, I just jumped in the pool fully clothed. I am dripping wet. He doesn't swim. He doesn't swim. <laughs> This is disgusting. What? So all those black dots, those are bugs. Oh. Yuck, huh?